high water signs that includes Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Welcome to your little overview spread. It's not a major reading like my first and mid months are. This is just a little extra something. Um, so that's why I'm doing it by elements. And uh, this is an overview spread. So what is on Pisces? I'm going to start with Pisces. Hi, Pisces. I'm a Pisces as well. What is on P Pisces? Mind? Okay, so I have two cards. I have a major arcana card, which is temperance in the reverse. So currently on our mind is um, inappropriate behavior, um, wrong actions, imbalances, not learning, um, excessive behavior, instigating fights, um, a need for counseling so it could be us or somebody that we know that is just acting out of character acting inappropriately acting how we don't feel like we should be treated and then i have the six of cups in reverse so we're back in, and this is sagittarius energy so sagittarius are notorious for being blunt and outspoken as it is and being very um masculine and dominant in their energy so it could be somebody said something that we just struck us as like I can't believe they just said that what the hell and then we have the six of cups in the reverse and it's being stuck in the past being unrealistic being naive and oh my god that just hit me <laughs> that really just hit me hard because uh I actually have a Sagittarius that said really mean things to me in the past that I'm still not over and it's something that I've been thinking about so wow that really resonated with me so um what what doesn't Pisces want to think about what doesn't Pisces want to think about all right um so we have the seven of cups in the upright um, so we don't want to think about trying to find meaning in life. We don't want to think about soul searching anymore. We've been there. We've done that. Uh, we don't want to be out of touch with, with reality. We don't want to be in a fantasy land. Um, that's Scorpio energy. So we don't want to think about a Scorpio from the past, which I totally know I don't. Um, What's presently affecting Pisces? What's presently affecting Pisces? All right, so I have injustice. There could be a Libra here. Um, there's something out of balance. There could be lawsuits, a divorce, uh, things going against you, feeling victimized, blaming others, being falsely accused of things. When the past is affecting Pisces present, when the past is affecting Pisces present. Okay, I have the two of wands, so there could have been an Aries in the past that's affecting your present. Um, this is decisions about movement, decisions about a course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, there's a need for excitement here, something holding you back. Um, being bored and discontent. Anything else in the past that's affecting Pisces present? Anything else from the past that's affected Pisces present? All right, I have the Three of Wands. So again, we have Aries energy, and this is turning your back on the past, looking towards the future, taking action, making a decision. Um, efforts paid off here so there, there's some sort of transition that we were going through some sort of rite of path passage and uh, there's definitely an Aries here in the past so in the future I have the Queen of Wands in the upright which is the card of Sagittarius again so again we have the Sagittarius energy in our on our mind or this um, fire energy this ambition so we're very ambitious in the future we're very um aggressive very energetic very temperamental very passionate in the future um this is being independent outgoing spontaneous sexy radiant healthy taking charge of a situation um you can do this this is exercising, getting active, being open and sincere, knowing your strengths and using it. 
And then we have the Four of Wands. So again, we have all this fire energy in our spread. A lot of Aries and Sagittarius here. So we have the Four of Wands, which is celebrations, friendships. Um, it can also be like welcoming home, uh, reunions, surprises, family gatherings. It's just a happy, stable time, establishing roots, being balanced and secure. And again, we have the card of Aries. So there's a lot of Aries and Sagittarius here. So why is the Queen of Wands here in Pisces future? Why is the Queen of Wands here in Pisces future? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. I'm only taking one. Okay, I gotta take this one because it was just sitting out there and I know that it's right <laughs> and it makes sense. So the Queen of Wands is here because we're coming out of heartbreak. We are releasing pain, we're forgiving, and we're moving on from a Sagittarius that betrayed us and an Aries that betrayed us. Um, and then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Um, so there's temptation, there's illusions here, there's Scorpio energy here again. Why is the Four of Wands here for Pisces future? Okay, so there's a happy couple here. It's a uh, Earth couple, the King and Queen of Pentacles, both of which are in the upright. Um, <clears throat> the Earth is all about hating change, being practical, being grounded, being dependable, not taking risks. Uh, being slow, steady, being builders, being a strong, solid, stable foundation of a relationship. This is Earth energy. This is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, there's a lot of money here. There's a lot of wealth. There's a lot of health. There's prosperity, success. There's the Midas touch. Anything you touch turns to gold here. There's luxury. There's ambition, there's getting the payday for your hard work. Um, there, with the king and queen, this is a strong rulership. Um, there's authority here, there's influence, there's being very mature, um, turning thoughts into actions, being deeply self-aware, being a caretaker. I see a marriage. I see marriages in the card for Pisces in the future. Either marriage or a, a relationship, but I definitely see, yeah. Yeah, that could, oh, oh, that is, yeah. There's a marriage here. Uh, yeah, a marriage. Very strong, stable marriage well that's good because i'm a pisces i'm pisces sun pisces ascendant pisces venus and pisces mars and i'm seeing a capricorn right now so <laughs> whoa yeah that that resonates with me i don't know about y'all but it resonates with me all right so let's move on we're gonna do uh cancer next so hi cancer welcome um What's on Cancer's mind? What does Cancer currently want to think about? What's on Cancer's mind? Okay, so I see friendships. I see celebrations, community, partying, um, emotional growth. This is the card, like your card. That's your energy. That's Cancer energy. Uh, so, that, yeah, there's friendships. There's partying. There's feasts here. What does it cancer want to think about? What does it cancer want to think about? Okay, so you don't want to think about Sagittarius. You don't want to think about karma. You don't want to think about things not lasting forever. You don't want to think about changes. You don't want to think about growth. You don't want to think about timing. You just want to live and let be and party you don't want to be ambitious right now you don't really want to be energetic 
you want to be emotional, you want to be in your inner energy, you want to be sensitive, you want to be mysterious, you want to be intuitive, perceptive, and you just want to hang out with friends and you don't really care about being, um, getting things done. You don't really think, care about getting things done, you don't really care about travel, you just care about partying right now. Alright, what's presently affecting Cancer? What's presently affecting Cancer? Right, so I have the Empress, so there could be a Virgo in your midst. Um, this is Mother Domestic Goddess. This is creative, productive, you're on the right path. There's abundance here, there's love. There could possibly be a pregnancy. Um, this is me time. This is a period of growth, a time of safety, stability. It's an incubation period of a plan or an idea. This is a thriving relationship. Um, the major arcana, there's a major and there's a minor arcana. The major arcana are major life events. The minor arcana are minor day-to-day -day events. The minor arcana is set up like a regular playing deck, whereas the major arcana starts with the full, which is zero, and it ends on the world, which is 21. This is card number three. So the full is the inception of the new the new soul. That's the fool's journey that the fool has to go on. Well, the um, one and two, which is the magician and the high priest, is sort of the sexual intercourse that brings the idea of the fool into a conception. So it's all about conception. Um, it's the magic of conception, the sperm and the egg joining. And then it takes the empress and the emperor to actually bring the, the fool down onto the physical plane, to manifest the fool into reality, to bring the fool into this grounded earth. So we have the empress here. So this is some sort of plan that, or idea or person that was a conception before, but we're now able to bring that conception, that plan, that idea down to earth and solidify it. So when the past is affecting Cancer's present, 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 Okay, so I have the Hermit reversed. Again, we have Virgo energy, so we could definitely be talking about a Virgo here. Or just bringing that energy in that I analyze, that being very analytical, critical, nitpicking, neat, observant, um, service-oriented, useful, helpful, detailed, um, fussy, intelligent, uh, meticulous energy. But the Hermit Reversed is um, a time to socialize. You learned your lesson in the past, um, but you're deliberately avoiding going within. There's terrible loneliness here, uh, feeling powerless, avoiding problems, um, being left out in the cold by family and friends not socializing it's a time to socialize and you're not socializing so in the past past you were withdrawn all right and we have the five of wands in the upright so look at all that battle going on with all of the uh, there's a lot of action in this card it's a fire card so it's all about action and being temperamental um, the Five of Wands is conflict, stress, strong competition. This is the card of Leo. Um, lack of teamwork, things getting out of hand, irritation, impatience, too many Indians, not enough chiefs. This is I will energy. This is very theatrical energy, very dramatic. Um, but it can also be playful. Could also be playful there. I mean, there's not a whole lot of uh, conflict in the past. It, it, it's just neutral, just neutral. But there was some challenges. There was some arguments here. 
So what's going on for Cancer's future? What's going on? Oh, and happy birthday, by the way. What's going on for Cancer's future? All right, so I have the Queen of Cups. We're back in your energy. And stuck to the Queen of Cups was the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So we're, we're back in your energy here. And um, the Queen of Cups is looking towards the future. So the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is debt. Um, this is Taurus energy. This is um, being very like possessive, slow to change. Uh, so I'm looking at the negative aspects of Taurus's energy. So stubborn, um, being a little bit lazy, overly indulgent. And then we have the Queen of Cups here. And the Queen of Cups is very emotional, loving, happy, sensitive, caring. She's a healer. She's beautiful. She's pretty. She's kind. She follows her heart. She goes with the flow. She learns to listen. She loves to meditate, daydream. She takes trips to the water. She develops psychic abilities. She opens her heart to love. She's a peacemaker. She's highly artistic, imaginative, and creative. Totally absorbed with her own creations. Seems otherworldly at times. She um, detaches from reality at will. Um, she's mature enough to be practical and live in the real world. She's intuitive, psychic, spiritual. She's a natural born empath. She's kind, caring. She could be melancholy, a little depressed, and aloof. She's compassionate, non judgmental. Um, in relationships, she's loyal and loving and devoted. She has strong family values. In her career, she has a lot of options and she needs to get creative. As a mother, she's warm, affectionate, and loving. But debt, I see there's debt here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Cancer's future? All right, so I have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So there's past resentments here, and that's causing debt. Uh, why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? All right, so I have the Six of Swords. There's a transition period. Um, there is moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from bad situations, escaping abusive situations and getting back into your own element, returning to life after trauma. Um, there's a regretful but necessary transition. Uh, again, I don't, there, there is some conflict here uh, in the near future between debt and um, past resentments. This is um, Aquarius energy, so it's very detached, emotionally detached. So you're emotionally detaching from your debts. You're emotionally detaching from one-sided charity, from, from being depressed. You're being emotionally detached here and kind of unconventional. And then I see that you're on a uh, rite of passage and you're developing your psychic skills. You're being in your element. You're being an empath, a healer, loving. And you're not worried about the past anymore. You're just looking towards the future. You see that there's so much emotional abundance in the future and you're just transitioning straight on into the future here. Cancer, thank you so much for joining me today. All right, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're just going to be doing a little tiny spread to see what's going on. Um, so what does Scorpio have on their mind? What does Scorpio have on their mind? What's on Scorpio's mind? Okay, so there's lots of options. There's fantasy. We have the Seven of Cups. 
Um, there's trying to find meaning in life, soul searching, daydreaming. You're a little out of touch with reality here and there's some wishful thinking. Right. Um, what does Scorpio not want to think about? What is Scorpio trying to avoid thinking about? What is Scorpio, what is Scorpio trying to avoid thinking about? Scorpio trying to... Oh, why is this here? So you're trying to avoid thinking about heartbreak, um, loss, sadness. You're trying to avoid thinking about trauma and this is weird because this is two decks put together and this is not the same deck this is out of a completely different deck and that's what we wanted to come out um so um you're trying to avoid thinking about divorce betrayal love triangles hurtful words you, you, know, you just don't want to think about that you're, you're done with it you're over it you, you just you're trying not to think about that at all um, this is the card of Libra. Um, so Libra balances. It appreciates art and fine things. So it could be um, a Libra that you're trying not to think about, but not necessarily. I'm not really getting that. I'm just getting it's the heartbreak. You're not, you just don't want to think about sadness. You don't want to think about the past. You just want to think about the future. You, you're, you're goal oriented off of the future. So what's presently affecting Scorpio? What's presently affecting Scorpio? Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles and he's in the reverse. Um, so this is work's done. You're taking a break from work here. Um, this could be a dishonest business person, financial insecurity. Um, there could be being an unemployed or being lazy, being a dropout. There's shabby workmanship here, uh, bad investments, changing a course of direction, being a couch potato, uh, being unfriendly and being very slow moving and looking at the past you're moving towards the future very slowly but you're still stuck in the past honestly that's what i'm getting more than anything else is once i put it down um, i'm just going over the general meaning of what the card is but whenever i put it down it's exactly what it's telling me you're stuck in the past and you're slow moving towards the future And that's the card of Taurus. So Taurus is slow and steady, uh, builder, practical, hardworking, routine, um, a perfectionist, uh, very jealous, slow to change, stubborn. So is. Taurus is a very slow moving energy. When the past is affecting Scorpio's present. When the past is affecting Scorpio's present. Okay, so I have Taurus again here. And I have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, which is a major life event, and that is Taurus energy. That's tradition, that's legacy, that's a counselor, that's um, blindly following, surrendering your free will, um, believing whatever you're told, uh, not thinking for yourself, doing what everyone expects for you, being stuck in the past. So that's like an ongoing theme for Scorpio, being stuck in the past, unable to move on from the past. And being very patient, being very predictable, um, being steady and solid, being uh, affectionate and artistic and trustworthy. And then we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. And um, that is mental confusion at its best. It's being clueless, just being in chaos, out of control. Um, some people being rude, hurtful. There's mental health issues here, temper tantrums. There, there's looking for a fight, trying to pick a fight here, overreacting to small things. There's manipulation. There's criminal behavior, being cruel, brutal, um, and leading others into danger. 
So in the past, there was somebody who was being very cruel and hurtful and saying, and with that air energy of the Page of Swords, it's communication. So people saying hurtful things to you, and then you're traditional. You're letting other people tell you how to behave, and you're slowly moving into the present, slowly moving into the future with that earth energy. And there's a lot of conflict here in the past because air and earth don't get along. The Page of Swords is all about change. The Page of Swords is the winds of change. And the Hierophant is tradition, legacy, being in the past. There's no change there. Earth doesn't move. Earth is solid. Earth is steady. Earth is practical. You, you can predict what Earth is going to do. It's just going to sit there. So, so there's Earth and Earth right next to this winds of change. So there's, I see a lot of, uh, a lot of conflict here. And I see that the underlying factor in this conflict is heartbreak. Um, so there was heartbreak in the past, and you don't want to think about that anymore. You're just done with it, and you just want to find meaning in life now. And um, you just want to leave emotionally unfulfilling relationships and just walk away. So what's coming towards Scorpio in the future? What's coming towards Scorpio in the future? Okay, so I have the Three of Wands in the upright. So there could be an Aries. Um, this is turning your back on the past, looking to the future, which is what you need to be doing, um, taking action, making a decision, leading the way, um, efforts in the past have paid off and there's excitement about your relationship and there's a brand new adventure. What else is coming towards Scorpio in the future? Okay. So I have the magician. So this is following a dream. There's a golden opportunity here. There's miracles. There's a flash of inspiration. Being in your personal power here, uh, there's potential. There's uh, selling yourself. There's resourcefulness, manifestation. You're able to manifest whatever you want with the magician. Something miraculous is going to happen. There's pow the power is in your hand hands being focused on a goal there's ambition determination being a master of public speaking and communication there's a powerful man that likes to be in charge here and it's a really good travel card it's the card of Virgo so why is the three of wands here for Scorpio's future why is the three of wands here for Scorpio's future why is Okay, so I have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this is greed, dissatisfaction, materialism. So here the Three of Wands is looking at the past and he's turning his back on the past. Um, and it's because of greed, it's because of materialism. Um, somebody owed you money. Uh, it could have been alcoholism. It could have been a Pisces. So you, you're turning your back on a Pisces from the past. Why is the magician here for Scorpio? All right, I have the tower reversed. Um, so this is avoiding a major disaster getting out of the way, salvaging, rebuilding your life after a natural disaster. There's damage control. All right, Scorpio. Oh, and then temperance when to come out. So that's Aries energy, uh, the tower. This is Sagittarius and we have temperance. So this is the calm after the storm, rebalancing yourself. There's a glimpse of spiritual purpose. There's travel learning, teaching, um, a wise counselor, a healer, being balanced, perfect timing. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's peace, tranquility. Um, you're healing your emotions. There's understanding a deep inner peace, forgiveness, and being in a mature, healthy relationship. And that's what you have to look forward to in the future. 
Well, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.